beautiful story. You know, when I was reflecting on the gospel today, I couldn't stop my head from singing. You know, journey song, right? Don't stop believing. I was, consequently, I was just conversing with somebody in yesterday. He said, do you know, Father, that the, the new singer, the lead singer is Filipino? This is nothing to do with the gospel, I'm just telling you. Uh, I just remembered. Um, yeah, and, and I, I was very proud. I searched and said, oh, Arnel Pineda, wow. He's a, and he sounds like the original. So just, I don't know. I'm proud of it. But anyway, what powerful words. I will not believe. Thomas was with Jesus the whole time, three, three years, and he knew more than we do right now about Jesus Christ. He knows the person of Jesus. He, know, he knew the miracle that, that um, he did. He knew everything. He, raised, he was there when, when, when um, Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. And yet, when the disciples were evangelizing, we have seen the Lord. He has resurrected. He said, I will not believe. In our world today, that is our state. Um, luck, blessed are we who are here, but there are many more people, the empty pews. Right now, I cannot complain because this is a good distance, but we, there are many people, more than believers, that do not believe in the risen Lord. And that is why we always remember Thomas. We always remember him that it's the Lord who comes to us with a gift of faith, always, to soften our hearts, to soften our minds, and believe. And through us, his disciples, will be able to open hearts and witness with our own lives and our own wounds the risen Lord. Now, on a personal note, we sometimes spend our entire life asking, hoping, searching. Isn't it true? People who already believe still search, hope, and ask God and doubt if He's there. I have, at least. Faith makes us the asking. Faith, however, makes the asking fruitful the hoping reasonable, and the searching meaningful. You know, the Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches us that faith is indeed a gift from God, a supernatural virtue, a habit that we do, that comes from Him. It's a gift. Throughout our lives, our faith could be and should be tested so that our faith would deepen. With the, faith, with, the, with the help of the Holy Spirit, He moves the heart through our reading of the Scriptures, knowing God through the Scriptures, the sacraments that we celebrate, our day-to-day -day experiences at home, our prayer life, our charity and relationship with others, our service to one another, everyone, everything is geared toward what we believe because faith is not something that's aside. It is us, the whole thing that we... What do you believe you will do? God moves us in so many ways and changes our hearts in so many ways, but this conversion of mind and heart is rooted and driven by our faith, brings our asking and hoping and searching into full fruition. It makes it easier for us to see, to accept, and believe the truth. Faith makes life and sufferings of life bearable. The gift of faith makes us strong on many different levels. Today, God moves us to faith in spite of the wounds in His side. Today, faith has the power to move us both in suffering as well as our joys. 
Faith has the power to change our hearts in spaces of doubts or places of certainties. Where are we now in our faith in God, we ask. My brothers and sisters, what we shouldn't do is to stop, don't, the song, don't stop believing, don't stop seeking, don't stop searching for and hoping in God. Like Thomas on that day of the Lord's resurrection, we might have a lot of questions, anxieties, doubts about what is happening in our world today or in our lives and our families. It is the Lord who can take our hearts, who can bring our hearts and minds to a place where we have never imagined to go. So the openness of Thomas, we ask for that faith right now. Yes, my Lord and my God, we believe, but today we ask you for a deeper faith and trust in you, because without your gift, we have nothing.